to test the element. This, on this particular one, it's right there, but normally there's a, yours might have the, the heat tube underneath. The heat tube's over that way. So we're just gonna test the leads there, make sure you have 240. So we have a set for 104, it's at 97 right now. So we wanna see that this is heating right now, because it should be. So be careful when this is, this is the power's on right now, so you gotta watch it. Don't touch anything else. So we got 240 there. So we're testing the amps on this heater element. And we got zero. So, and I just changed that element. The tub's not heating up. I tested the voltage, and uh, the voltage is 240. After testing the voltage and the amperage, now, if you're wondering what the amperage is, it should be 23. So it should be on the heat tube itself. If you, All information is right on the heat tube. If you have to measure volts, it's 240 on this one, and then amperage is 23 on this one. And then your heat tube is a 5500, which is a 55 kilowatt. Now, what I saw, it's all melted. I'm going to take this off and see what happened. So I took it all apart and we're gonna have to replace this. There's too much damage. You can see it's all melted pretty good. Plus I don't have the length. Even if I cut it back and spliced everything, I just don't have the length for it. Once a wire goes, it's all brittle like this and it heats up, it's better to replace the whole wiring because it just gets really, the copper gets really brittle. So, and the heat tube, even when you take a heat tube off, you look at the ends, and you can see it's all pitted. And at some point, once you get that rust, it's it's supposed to be stainless steel, but I don't know. So it can't be pure stainless steel. Because once it starts pitting, you'll get little tiny holes in here. And it's probably going to already start like a rusty car. And then there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to replace the whole heat tube. Now these are pricey too, this particular one. There's two types you can put on the Arctic Spa. Now this number here is uh, there, 489120 R2. And there's another one you can, there's two types, the original one, and then there's a universal one. The universal one's way cheaper. So it's better to go with brand new. Put the new heat tube back in. They're all running again. And I'm gonna test the voltage on that and the amperage. Now I tested the voltage and uh, he had that, he had the heat tube melt. Now I had voltage and uh, one of the lines was off underneath that box right there. One of the lines was off. So I had voltage right here. So it doesn't mean that it's okay. So I had to test the uh, amperage on that black. So I'm gonna test that amperage again. And last time I had zero. So I should have around 23. So I'm gonna test voltage. I'm gonna turn the voltage. You gotta be careful doing this. So one lead on one side doesn't really matter. Red, black, whatever. Just be careful to not touch anything else. Get that. So we got two around 240, which is good. test amperage so on this meter here 
turn the amperage. So we had zero before on that last one. So even if I have voltage, like we had voltage before and uh, indicated that the heater was fine, but on that heat tube, you can't really test it right on top of it, like on the two leads on top of the heat tube. So we're gonna test amps now. So we should have around 23. About 22, around 22. So it's good, because so, we should have around 23. Last time we had zero, so that's another way, just because you test voltage and you have voltage, doesn't mean that it's, it's working properly. So make sure you check your amps. Okay, so if this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and then we'll see you on the next one.